Uh, let's start by talking about what we talked about yesterday, so you guys remember it. So, in the coordinate plane, where is zero degrees at? Right. 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 And then if you do a quarter this way, that is 90 degrees, and then a quarter more. Quarter more. Okay, so if we had like a you know 150 degree angle. That would be short of 180, so it'd be about right here. And it goes from there to there, 150. And then this gap right here between the x-axis and the angle, so 180 minus 150 is 30 degrees, is called the reference angle because it has the same ratios as a 30 degree angle over here, or a 30 degree angle right there, or a 30 degree angle right there. Sorry, H. Bauer PE is in the gym, not the Oasis room now. So Mr. Weaver will be your teacher today. What is it? So we can't. Somebody's last name is Weaver. Who is it? Kenny. Who? Kenny. Wait. So what are we doing? We're going to the gym now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and remember you can go. Shh. You can go backwards. So what would this angle going backwards be called? Negative 90. So this would be negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, and so on. All right, today we are learning a new way to measure angles, and those are called radians. So not as common, I'm pretty sure whoever made this up made it up because it makes the formula that we're going to be using later on really simple. But uh, radians are like degrees, but they use a different... So it, the difference is, in degrees, it's a, a full rotation is 360. In, ooh, in radians, a full rotation is 2 pi radians. Okay, there's no symbol for radians, you just call them radians. There's no like little degree symbol. Okay, 2 pi being like 2 times 3.14, it's about 6.28. But normally when we write radians, usually it has pi in the thing. So just like degrees though, it starts as zero right here, and then once you make a full rotation, that's 2 pi radians, 2 pi radians. So, if a full rotation is 2 pi radians, then what would half a rotation be over here? 1 pi radians, or just pi radians, which means if we were changing it to a decimal, it would be about 3.14. Okay, um, if, okay, so instead of 180 right here, this is like pi. So if this is pi, then if you go halfway there, what, what can this be called? half pi, and they call it pi over two. Okay, one half times pi is the same thing. If you multiply one half times pi, that's the same thing as pi over two, right? So they just put the pi on top on these. I'm not gonna count it wrong if you write like one half pi, that's okay. But I'm always gonna just write this version where it's just one thing, okay? All right. Um, all right, so this is like one half pi. So right here, that'd be one pi plus a half pi, so it's like one and a half pi, or three pi over two, because three over two is like one and a half. Okay, if this is pi over two, so yesterday we talked about, I think we did, 45 degree angles, like right there, splitting in half. So if this is pi over two, what would this be? Pi over four, half of... Half of a half is a fourth. And instead of like, if this was like a 60 degree angle, uh, 60 degrees is one third of 180. So this would be like pi over three. You don't have to have these memorized. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of how it works. Uh, basically, they don't expect you to memorize it either. They put all of this stuff and more on page 453. And the top right corner, do you guys see the little circle? Yeah. Uh, that's very helpful for today. They need, need we'd probably need some help. So, uh, those only show like the common angles, like counting by 30s and 45s and stuff. Uh, it doesn't show everything. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't work out very nicely. 
But for this assignment, I think they all will work out pretty nicely. And, oh, you can go backwards too. So you can do a negative pi over two, negative pi, you can go backwards, just like normal. Okay, yeah, it is a little easy. If you get, like, good notes on each section, it's, it's kind of easy. Okay, number one. They want us to convert radians into degrees. The easiest way to do that, now, okay, there is a picture over there, probably somewhere in the picture, but it's really easy uh, to convert this to degrees because pi in radians is worth 180 in degrees. So this is worth 180 divided by three. If you just replace the pi with 180, that's the easiest way to turn it into degrees. So that means pi over three is worth 60 degrees, 180 divided by three. Uh, if you look at the little picture, it's the red, no, it's not the red one, it's the green one on the upper right. Uh, okay, anyways, so number three says pi over five. So that would be the same thing as 180 divided by five. 36 degrees, yeah. Oh, that one might not be in the picture, actually. Yeah, that's not in there. So not everything's in the picture, they just have a few special ones. Uh, so on number uh, two, you could do like three times 180 divided by two. That would give you the angle. Or that one, that one is in the picture. Okay. Um, Number five, to convert degrees into radians, the other way. So, let's make up an example, let's say 45 degrees. I talked about this one earlier. Uh, to convert degrees into radians, this is the converter. You divide by 180 degrees to get rid of the degrees, and you multiply by pi radians to multiply in the radians. So this is kind of the magic thing right here. Multiply by pi over 180. This divides out the degrees and multiplies in the radians. Usually, and your calculators are pretty good at this, um, you're not supposed to get a decimal. So if you have a good calculator, I think you guys all have good calculators, right? It should spit out a fraction here. That's the version we want. So 45, for example, goes into 180 like four times. So that re should reduce to like pi over four. Make sure your calculator does that. So on number five, it says 15 degrees. So I'm gonna multiply by pi over 180. I think 15 goes into 30 twice, 30 goes in six times. So I think this reduces to one to 12. Do you, want to, do you want us to show that works? No, I'm, no. I'm just doing it without a calculator here. Okay, 7 is 175. This one doesn't reduce that well, but it does. If you divide by 5, you'll see it's 35 or 36. Okay, so... 35 pi over 36. Yeah, if you put the pi off to the side, that's fine. I'm not going to count it wrong. Just don't make it look like it's in the denominator. I know the calculators put it separately usually because it's a lot of calculators aren't quite capable of putting pi in the fraction, but whatever. Okay, number nine. Uh, okay, draw the standard position angle with the given measure and state the measure of its reference angle in radians and degrees. So this is kind of like yesterday when we drew the angles. Um, so on number nine it says pi over three. Where is pi over three? Well, it's a, that one is in the picture, but pi over three is basically 180 divided by three. So it's where 60 degrees is. So where would 60 degrees be? 60 degrees? Most of the way to 90. We're about right there. 
So I drew that little arrow. Okay, but it also says write the reference angle. So, how far is pi over 3 from the x-axis? Well, it's pi over 3. Yeah, or, yes, 60 degrees also. Um, because it's just in the first quadrant, and it's only gone pi over 3. That's how far it is from the right. That's, that's what the angle is. In the first quadrant, it's just itself. But we do have to write it in radians and degrees, so we do need both of those for the reference angle. Yeah, that one is in their little picture up there. It's, well, we talked about already. It's the green one. Okay. Number 11. Uh, negative 3 pi over 2. Uh, do you guys remember where I said 3 pi over 2 was? Probably not. Okay, in the picture, where is 3 pi over 2? Yeah, it's down at the bottom of 270. So if we're going negative 3 pi over 2, where is that going to be? Yeah, it's basically three quarters of the way going backwards. So it's right there. It stops at the same spot that 90 does. Okay, that's the picture. I'm not, you can't really draw a line right there. You could, I guess, this doesn't show up. Um, what's the reference angle? How far is this from the x-axis right here? 90 degrees, but we also need what is that in radians? Pi over 2. Probably got that from the picture. You could, if you didn't know, I mean, you could use the converter we talked about from earlier, times pi over 180. But yeah, it's just pi over 2. Okay, you need both of those. So there's kind of three answers there's the picture, and then there's degrees and radians for the reference angle. There's three answers. Five pi over four. Uh, they did put that one in the picture, but another way to think of this, five fourths. Five divided by four is one and one fourth. So one pi means like going, there I'll draw it. One pi would be like going this far, and then another quarter of a pi would be going a quarter of the way back to over here, so it's just like right there. Um, oh yeah, reference angle. So how far is this right here from the x-axis? Well, remember this is pi radians, and this is 5 pi over 4 radians, so how do we find the gap right there? Just like yesterday, what do we do? We subtract that minus that. So 5 pi over 4 minus pi, or you could say 4 pi over 4, is 1 fourth pi, pi over 4. So to find the gap, you just subtract the difference. How far is it from there to there? 5 pi over 4 minus pi is pi over 4. And what is pi over 4 in degrees? 45, 45 degrees. 180 divided by 4, 45 degrees. Right. Number 15. Okay, in the directions on 15, they gave us a little formula. S equals R times theta. We actually did this some last year because it's kind of a geometry thing. Uh, let's go to this picture. Okay. Dang it.
died. Okay. Um, whoa, okay, now it's going to be screwed up. Good thing we're almost done. Okay. Um, last year when we did the circle chapter, we did sectors a little bit. Like there's a central angle right here. Usually we call it theta. You guys remember theta? Back from the good old days. And what's this thing called right here? Radius. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, when you are using radians, this is why I think they made up radians. The formula for the arc length, which they called S for some reason, the length from there to there is just the radius times theta. Okay, so if you're using radians, that works. If you're using degrees, the formula is a little more complicated. Uh, but this times this equals that. That's what they told us in the directions. Okay, we're not really using this picture, we're just doing algebra mostly, but. Um, so on 15, they just tell us that uh, r equals 5 and theta equals 2 pi over 3. It's going to be messed up now because uh, you know, nothing I can really do about it. Um, so all we have to do is find the missing variable. That's all we're doing. So s equals r is 5. Theta is 2 pi over 3, so 5 times 2 pi over 3. Now, the directions do say round to the tenths place. That means we don't want a pi in our answer. We want a pure decimal answer. So after you plug this in, go ahead and put, push the decimal button and round to the tenths place. Somebody get it? 10.5 is correct. Tenths place is the first decimal place. 10.5. Okay. Seventeen. Theta equals six pi over seven, and s equals three pi. they give us the s and the theta but not the r so i'm going to replace s with 3 pi i don't know the r and theta is 3 pi over 7 this marker is kind of bugging me all right um so how do i solve for r on this one right divide by 3 pi over 7 to get r by itself so those cancel out and I'm doing this, divide by 3 pi over 7. 3 pi, divide by 3 pi over 7. Um, yeah. The pi's will cancel out. It's the same as 3 divided by 3 sevenths. Oh, I feel like I wrote something wrong. Did I copy something down wrong? 6 pi, oh, it's 6 pi over 7. Should come out as seven over two, but they want a decimal, so it's uh, two point five. Okay, nineteen. Nineteen. We have a little bit of a problem because. Their theta is uh, 15 degrees. So what's the problem? The little formula that they gave us is made for radians, not degrees. So 
So what are we going to do about it? We're going right. We're going to convert 15 degrees into radians. And how did we do that earlier? Are you serious? That's not an answer. Huh? Did somebody say it? I don't know. By 180. Yeah, actually 15 degrees we did on like number 5 or something. Yeah. Uh, it came out as pi over 12 on number 5. So now we're ready. So I'm going to plug in my R is 36 and my theta is pi over 12. And do that and turn it into a decimal. Like nine point something. Hey, you, you need to you need to go and get a room. You just sit there. 